All right, welcome back to the channel. Gervonta Tank Davis gets into it with his team and at the same time, embarrasses whole, a whole lot of critics. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound division where it seems like the biggest name in the division is taking on the biggest challenge in the division. Shocker, shocker, shocker. And I'm going to be waiting to see whether or not people are going to be giving him his credit for it. Also, he establishes that it is him that makes the decision in his career as he has a little bit of an issue with some of the friends, uh, some of the trainers in his camp who are talking about what they want to see in the lightweight division. That would be, I suspect, Coach Kenny and Coach Calvin. However, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. I think people are making a big deal about it when there shouldn't be a big deal made about it. Uh Gervonta Davis is kind of a feisty dude, and they tend to disagree with each other, but what difference does that make when your family, you disagree sometimes and you keep it pushing? Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And when you're a long time, if you're a long time subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you guys so much. And thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks of videos like this really goes a long way. Every dollar counts. Thank you for keeping the channel going and keeping the channel thriving so we can continue to give you some good boxing conversation where a lot of times I'm going to spend some time debunking some stuff that is out there in the boxing uh in the boxing con world of boxing conversation. Now, I want to say this because I had a conversation with somebody very briefly and, and in an irritated fashion. I get irritated. I'll admit it. When people call me a journalist, I'm not a journalist. I'm a boxing fan with a YouTube channel that talks about the news that comes out. And I chop it up with people with boxing and live streams on a daily basis. I'm not a journalist. I do not have to uphold to journalistic standards. I don't do interviews for the most part. Every once in a while, I'll do one or I'll and I consider just talking to somebody on the channel and letting other letting them say what they want to the boxing forum. That said, though, I will comment on this Gervonta Davis versus Ryan uh, versus Frank Martin fight that uh, rumor has it has been agreed to, although it has not been announced by any party associated with it. it has not been announced by Ter Errol Spence. It has not been announced by Frank Martin. It's not been announced by uh, Gervonta Davis. But <clears throat> I've done videos about it and did videos about it for weeks because, hey, man, who else is he going to fight? He's the WBA champion at 135. You go down the sanction, you go down the rankings, you see who's available. Frank Martin is the most obvious choice. And not only is he the most obvious choice, he's one of the most dangerous choices that you can have in that division. So in part one of this, I'm going to say I cannot wait to see what the reception for the Gervonta Davis tank Frank Martin fight is going to be and how exactly it will be that that Terrence that that a Gervonta Davis is cherry picking Frank Martin. Cannot wait to hear how this is going to happen because it is 100 percent going to happen. I cannot. I just am waiting to hear it. How are you guys going to bend that one and turn it into, oh, he looked bad in his last fight. Uh, he looked didn't look bad in his last fight. He I think he wound up. I think he won that fight going away and pick up the pace in the second half of that fight. But he still won the fight. He won the fight convincingly. I'm sure somebody's going to say that means he's not a good fighter. Just like Ray Valenzuela, if he would have picked him, would have been a bad fighter. Roly Romero, I agree, probably is a bad fighter. But Isak Cruz beat Floyd, beat uh, Gervonta Davis five minutes after the fight took place, according to certain, certain people. But then three months later, oh, he was just he's garbage. We don't want to see the rematch. All of a sudden it shifted into that.
Uh, I just can't wait to see how you guys are going to uh, skim over that one. And I'm very and I hope that it's true. Again, I hope that it's true. Do not know for certain that it's true because it hasn't been officially announced yet. And if they if they go a different direction, man, don't be surprised because it is what it is with people and them saying that they know these things are going to take place. Now, as far as the, the tweet that went out with Gervonta Davis and talking about uh, the people on the Rise podcast that the, that were, you know, or talking about what they think, Gervonta Davis responding to it and saying, yeah, I'd be trying to tell them, you know, to slow down on that. They're too used to getting money. OK, look, man, Javante Davis has been irritated with people in his team before he's been irritated with people in his gym before. I do believe he and Trump's Chunk Simpson got into a big uh, got into a big fight with each other. I do believe that um, people said that they wanted to see people in his gym said that, that he wanted to see him fight monster in a way. And he said, why are you guys talking about this? That fight is never going to happen. Please don't talk about that. Right. Look, man, what does that mean? You think that means that his trainers are going to get fired? You think that they that means he doesn't respect what those guys are telling him in a boxing gym and the, and preparing him for a fight? And he's going to switch the team because they're all, because they get on their YouTube channel. They're saying something he doesn't agree with. People in families, literally in families, your family can sit around a room. You all love each other for the most part. Some of y'all may not, but for the most part, y'all love each other and you have disagreements. You want to do this. You somebody wants to go that way. You want to go. Somebody, the husband wants to go to the movies. The wife wants to go to a concert. OK, somebody wants to watch. Somebody's a Bears fan. The other one's is something's wrong with them, terribly wrong with them. And they're a, a Green Bay Packers fan. OK, the thing, those type of things happen. Trying to blow it up into some major type of event, in my opinion, is just a hey man. He's just really, really, really reaching. But at the end of the day, I'm really happy that that at least this fight is a possibility with Frank Martin. And I think that it passed. It, it is the best fight in that weight division. It's one of the best fights in that weight division that can be made. And I absolutely think it's as good a fight, as good a fight as any fight that was made in that division in 2023. Uh, ju better. Yeah. Yeah. Just as good. I think it is a better fight, a more competitive fight than Devin Haney versus George Cambosis. I think that it is a better competitive fight than what should have taken place between Edwin De Los Santos and Shakur Stevenson. And I think it's a better fight than uh, or at least as good a fight as Vasily Lomachenko versus Devin Haney that took place last year. So as far as people saying, when are you going to fight the top level guys in the division and all of that stuff? Well, there you go. And if you claim that he's not doing it, Man, come on to the live stream, click the link and explain to me how Frank Martin, who is a southpaw, who can fight on the back foot, who can fight coming forward, who is beaten, who is who has beaten Michelle Rivera and is a top guy in that in that WBA ranking. One of the top guys in the WBA and one of the top guys in the WBC, how that is not a competitive fight and a good fight that nobody wants to see. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.